Jonathan McGowan, Chris Johnson, John Veers, Samuel Zimmerman, Austin Gelsonino, Joe Sherbush, Emmy Sanders. I'm a fourth year in the five year program. I'm Keith Vanderreet, uh, an instructor of the studio, uh, an associate uh, faculty here at KU Architecture. The design build studios are a great experience. Um, the students come in often without um, much in the way of construction experience, but also from the architectural side, the furthest they've ever had to push a project was really uh, still on paper. And to push these projects into the real world uh, has so many benefits to the students, uh, but also the communities that, that we work with. Uh, but in a lot of projects, they also have to deal with permitting, zoning, or the various aspects of real world projects. And this brings a new perspective to the studio experience for them and one that really prepares them for the real world. This was surprisingly a fun project, figuring out a template for all of these slats. Our main goal was to figure out something simple that we could put together and very easily mark off, I think, what came out to be 22 different sizes of slats in one piece. And that was a fun logistics puzzle to try to figure out. I worked a lot inside of Rhino and Grasshopper to continue developing the 3D model of our structure. And I also worked heavily in Grasshopper to develop a parametric model of the fins that um, we created out of the recycled wood. I pulled probably two back-to-back all-nighters just trying to figure out the scripting that we had to use for Grasshopper in order to generate these fins and it was sort of all kind of relaying on me getting that right because we had to then use those drawings to create the CD set and create John's template. Probably just how much reworking we had to do just because of the nature of the recycled material. Um, these wood slats are made from recycled telephone poles we got from Weststar, and unfortunately, only maybe about half of what they gave us was usable, just due to the nature of it being recycled, and we didn't get to find out a lot of that until after we had built some of them. And in design build, the experience we have is that there are mistakes, we have feedback loops, we have um, debates among the students, what ideas should move forward. Uh, there are studios that um, might upset some people because of ideas that, that aren't moving forward or, you know, we have to decide how to uh, make decisions as a group and that presents a lot of challenges. Um, in the end, the satisfaction outweighs all the frustration, I think, and um, we all cover a lot of ground as a result of it. Definitely getting the hands-on experience kind of understanding how construction documents went, as well as learning how to like weld, do all the fabrication, and in the end it was all worth it, so. I think the big takeaway uh, for me was probably the overall experience of the teamwork uh, that everyone um, had. Uh, the ability that, you know, for all of us to come together and, and create something uh, with great benefit to the community and to ourselves to look at it and be proud of it. Our team knew that uh, we had access to like a few pallets of limestone block that had been reclaimed off the face of the Kansas Union. Um, so we developed a form by dry stacking the stones into layers and figuring out which shape that worked with our design. We also worked with the legend Carl Ramberg. My name's Carl Ramberg and uh, I worked as a kind of a advisor to the class. One of the things that I've been trying to uh, do in my life is uh, try to get stone carving back into the vocabulary of the architect. One of the most interesting ways I've found to, to try to do that is, is through these design build classes. I wanted uh, the students to get a sense of uh, how stone is worked and how, how you manipulate stone and uh, and how you design using stone. My role in the project was taking charge of the cairns and shaping them to their final design and pouring the footings for those cairns as well. Trying to take the cairns apart and put them back together again, um, matching those pieces up were very difficult. Definitely learned a lot of teamwork. Um, in studios I feel like we don't get that a lot so we can work together but this was actually like we had to work together and kind of come together as a whole to create something that was all coherent. 